What's up guys? This is Bobby with Spitting the Truth about, vi about Vinyl Records and uh, this video is going to be on uh, the best pressings for Love Forever Changes. Alright guys, i got some bad news for you. There really isn't any. Uh, you got the you know the first press mono and you got you know the, the stereos and uh most of them they don't sound good one they're tough to get clean quiet pressings of them and uh it's just a lot of music for you know one record sometimes when you try to push too much music on one side or you know only one uh, lp the sound quality tends to suffer but I'm going to go over the ones that are basically the best you can get this album to sound. Which is no easy feat. Here we're going to start off with the 2015 Mobile Felody. Uh, cut at 45 RPM by... Uh, it doesn't really matter who the hell cut this record because it doesn't sound very good to begin with. Uh, this one's cut from DSD a digital file and uh, they had the right idea with uh, spacing it out over two LPs to try to get it to sound better but in my opinion I mean this is last place out of uh, all uh, the other options you have like the original mono or the original stereo first press uh, this is not great guys Next up, we have the Sundays, uh, Love Forever Changes, and, uh, this one sounds opaque, uh, it's a little dull, a little, uh, lifeless, I don't know if this one was cut for tape, or whether it was cut from high-res digital, I don't know, all I know is that it really doesn't do the album justice, and it's, an acquired taste album. Uh, it's a great album the more you listen to it. Uh, when I heard people raving about it in the 90s, I wasn't really a fan. Uh, it took me a couple listens to start to, uh, you know, get what Arthur Lee was really doing. Uh, then your other option is uh, the Rhino that's released. Again, I don't know whether the Rhino cut this one from tape. Or uh, whether it's a digital file. But uh, this Rhino one is the best Love Forever Changes has ever sounded. Uh, it just is. You know. I don't know why it is. I have some ideas. Ideas that I talked about before being a lot of music. Pushing it on one LP. But even with that being said. This Rhino version blows away the MoFi. I mean. Blows it away. And uh, all the Forever Changes fans out there usually agree. Uh, Fremer from Tracking Angle agrees with me. Uh, he was not a fan of uh, the Forever Changes MoFi. And that dude got pretty good ears. He's able to tell whether an album sounds like crap or not. Um, this is just another one I picked up. To try to see if I could, you know, get some of these songs to sound good. It's uh, Love, Electra Masters. Uh, it's kind of like a greatest hits. It doesn't have uh, all, uh, you know, uh, the songs on it. But it has most of them that are on Forever Changes. And it has some that aren't on Forever Changes. Uh, and still, these songs don't sound great. Uh, I don't know whether they were recorded or, you know, they didn't have a good quality equipment or whether they uh you know push too much music on one side but if you're a forever changes fan the best you're going to get this album to sign is the new rhino and it's still in print and it's 20 bucks guys if you want the best sounding forever changes grab the rhino that's still in print all right guys this is bobby with spitting the truth about records and i'm out